Hello everyone. Question number three of exercise 1.4 is the value of root 2 is given as 1.414. Then we have to find out the values of these two parts. Now I already told you that under root 8 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. If there are two factors common under the under root, we can take one thing outside. So it is 2 into 2 into 2, which can be written as 2 under root of 2. Same way when we talk about 50, it is 2 into 5 into 5. So out of 2, 5, 1 can be taken out. It is 5 under root of 2. If I look at root 72, so this is, if we take root 2 common or root 2 outside, it will become root 36, where 36 is a perfect square and it can be written as 6 under root of 2. This can be written as 2 into 6 into 6. So out of these two 6, we have taken common. Same way, in 98, if I take under root 2 common, then 49 will remain and 49 is the perfect square of value 7. Out of all the values, we can take under root 2 common. So 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. This will come out to be 20 under root 2. We know the value of under root 2 as 1.414. So this is 20 into 1.414 which is 28.28. Again in this part 2 because only the value of under root 2 is given. So all these terms can be written in the form of root 2. When I talk about 32, if I take under root 2 common, so it will remain 16, under root 32 can be written as under root of 2 into under root of 16. Same way under root of 50 can be written as under root of 2 and under root of 25. Same way under root of 128 can be written as under root of 2 into under root of 64, while under root of 18 can be written as under root of 2 into under root of 9. We know all these are the perfect squares which can be solved. So this is 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by root 2. This can be written as 12 root 2. Because if I take 4 outside, so 3 multiplied by 4 is 12 and root 2 will remain. Here also when I take 5 outside, it is 10 under root 2. Here also when I take 8 outside, so it is 32 root 2. And here when I take 3 outside, it is 60 root 2. Again, root 2 can be taken as common. So 12 minus 10 plus 32 minus 60. When I calculate it, it is uh, minus 26 under root of 2. So minus 26 multiplied by 1.414 and hence we can write the answer in this question, which is basically negative in their value. When the value of root 3 is given, that definitely all can be converted into the part of root 3. If I talk about 27, this can be written as under root 3 and under root 9. Where under root 9 have a factor 3, so it is 3 root 3. Root 75, so 3 multiplied by 25 and 25 under root is 5, so 5 root 3. Same way, 108 is 3 into 36, where 36 will get 6 as the under root and root 3. Minus 243 can be written as 3 into 81 where this is a perfect square so it is 9 under root of 3. Now we can take under root 3 common. Keep one thing in mind if all the terms have root 3 then only we can take something common. If this is under, instead of root 3 it is root 5 or root 6 then we cannot take common. So this is 3 plus 5 plus 6 minus 9. So total it comes out to be 5 root 3. As we know the value of root 3 is 1.732 given in this question. So the answer becomes 8.660 when we multiply these two values. Here also because we understood that root 3 is given. So definitely this can be break up into two parts 3 and 4. So 4 under root 4 is 2 which can be taken out. This can be written as 10 root 3. Again here it is root 3 multiplied by 16. So 16 have a 4 root, uh, 4 as a under root. So this is 12 root 3 plus it is 3 into 25. So comes out to be 30 root 3. It is 3 into 36 where I can write it as 42 root 3. Again root 3 is taken as common. So this is 10 minus 12 
plus 30 plus 42. If we add them up, it comes out to be uh, 70 under root of 3. Where we know that under root 3 is, the value of under root 3 is 1.732. So 1.732, we multiply by 70 and we get the answer. These are the parts of calculation which you can do on your own. So this way we can solve the questions if the value of uh, some rational numbers, irrational numbers are given to us. In the next class we will talk about question number 5 onwards. If you have any problem, you can contact or email us. Thank you.